Welcome back to NoCode Devs. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a no-code scraper to scrape Reddit for a search term of your choosing. This could be for something like no-code or SaaS or business ideas or startup ideas or really anything that you want. The scraper will go out and will search all of subreddits for these search terms and then pull them into a nice structured list with metadata items like the number of upvotes, the date that it happened, a link to the subreddit, a link to the post, and so on and so forth. We'll show you how to programmatically send this data right into Google Sheets so you can further filter and sort your information. I'll even show you how to set up a monitor to check for these search terms on a daily basis so that you don't have to constantly go back out and search Reddit for these terms. It'll all happen for you automatically. It only takes about 10 minutes to get through this tutorial. It's beginner friendly, so I hope you like it. If you have any comments, be sure to drop them below like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future videos like this one. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and get going with the tutorial. Today, we're gonna to be using a tool called Browse AI, which is a no-code scraper and site monitor so that you can extract and monitor changes from data on websites across the internet. They have a bunch of pre-built bots so you can scrape popular sites like Product Hunt, Indeed, LinkedIn, Yelp, you name it. You can also build your own bot to scrape any custom website that you want or any pre-built workflow that you would like. We're going to scrape Reddit today because Reddit is a wealth of information in terms of product market research. And I think a lot of founders use it to identify opportunities in the market. So we're going to dive in and show you how to set this up to scrape Reddit today. So once you log in to Browse AI, you can set up an account for free and you actually get free credits with an account. So you can do this on their free tier but we're gonna head over to the section called pre-built robots. When we land here, we'll see once again that they have a ton of different pre-built bots. If we scroll down on the left here, in alphabetical order, we can find Reddit. Now they have a few different options here for Reddit. We can extract posts from a Reddit search, extract comments from a Reddit search, which is really nice. Extract post lists from a Reddit homepage or subreddit and extract users from Reddit search results. So. For today, we want to extract posts from a general Reddit search because we don't know the specific subreddits that we want to search, which is, I think is a popular problem. So subreddits have names that don't necessarily identify with the niche. So we just want to use a general search term and see what's out there. So we can go ahead and click into this. Now we just get a little preview of exactly what this bot will be doing and what this scraper will be doing. As you can see, it's good for market research, brand reputation management, content creation. There's a ton of different use cases that you could imagine with this. And then it shows us what we're gonna get. So we will get the post title, the post link, the subreddit, the subreddit link, the author, and the author link. So basically everything that we need to get this going. So let's go ahead and click use this automation. And here's where we set everything up. This robot needs some input parameters for you. Please fill them out and click on the next button to continue. Okay, so let's just say we wanna search for no code and we want the max results here per scrape to be 30. You could make this as little or as much as you want. And then you could even set up a monitor to check this on a daily basis and pull in any new information. I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's go ahead and go to the next step. This is where we just confirm everything, search text, no code, max post 30. Let's go ahead and hit start extracting. While this is running, I'm gonna head over here to monitor and show you that this is where you can set up a monitor to essentially watch this search term on Reddit. So that you don't have to manually run this every single day. You can actually just set up a monitor to do that for you. And then it'll append the Google Sheets with the new information that it found on the Reddit search for that day. So you simply just create new monitor. You can have this run every day. We can have all day selected. You can specify the time, the search text term, the number of posts you wanna get in the monitor, and you can even have it notify you by email if there's a change in the captured text. I'm not gonna turn this on, but this is where you would set up your monitor. It's super easy to do, and it will sync every time it runs to the Google Sheet that we're gonna set up. We come back to history here. Looks like it finished already. As we can see, we got our 30 results. We can click into this, and we can actually see all the results here. And here, for example, the first one, this is in the subreddit SAS and the subreddit link, the date two months ago, the number of upvotes, the number of comments. So it's really nice that we get the number of upvotes and comments because we can sort and filter by this in our Google Sheet once we sync it there. So here are all the different items that it found in all kinds of different subreddits from no code to tech news, that's programming. 
and the list goes on and on. So really good for market research if you want to do that. So how do we get this into Google Sheets so that we can further sift through, edit, manage, filter our data, or even sync it else somewhere else outside of Google Sheets? We head right on over to the Integrate tab. So let's go ahead and do that. They have a ton of different integrations from Google Sheets to Airtable to Make.com. Let's go ahead and use Google Sheets today. Okay, so this is really a one-click setup. I haven't done this yet with Google Sheets. I did set up a Google Sheet called Reddit in my Google account, so I did do that step. But let's go ahead and hit Enable Syncing to Google Sheets. We'll see what happens. So we have to choose an authorized account. We'll choose art at nocodedevs.com. And then we have to choose an existing spreadsheet. So let's click this button. And here it is. I just created this. So let's go ahead and choose Reddit. You can also have it create a new spreadsheet if you would like and name that spreadsheet, which is really nice. Additionally, you can edit the data mapping settings. So it set this up for us. So it's going to create these columns called position, post title, post link, subreddit, subreddit link, date, upvotes, and comments. It's going to create all these. But if you wanted to rename them here in Google Sheets, you could certainly do that. You could also rename them in Google Sheets after you set up the sync. So let's go ahead and click debate integration. And now we see that we have a configured check next to Google Sheets. So great. If we headed over to our Google Sheets, we wouldn't see anything there yet because we haven't run this task since we configured Google Sheets. So if we come back here to run task, we can see that sort of our parameters are still in here. No code with a max post of 30. Let's just change this to 20. We can save it as the default and let's run the task again. While this is running, we will head over to our Google Sheets and see if we can see these results pop up in the Google Sheet. Let's go over there now. Here's our Reddit sheet. Okay, if you noticed here at the bottom, we have a new tab called Post. Let's navigate to this and check this out. We have our results starting to populate. We have some additional information in here, which we ultimately may not need. We get the date of the job run. We get the job link, which is just an internal link to browse AI. So we probably don't need that. We get the search text, uh, the max post, which we got 20 total posts. We get the position, we get the post link, the subreddit link, and the date that it happened, number of upvotes and number of comments. So we could easily come in here. We could add filters to sort by upvotes if we wanted all kinds of different things. So this post was quite popular. So maybe we would be interested to see what this was all about. But as you can imagine, you can do anything that you can do in a Google Sheet uh, to customize and filter and store your data. And it's all right here. If we head back over to Browse AI, I just want to show you a couple other things. You can actually just download this to CSV. So if you don't want to integrate with one of their integrations, you can just download all of these to your computer and open it in an Excel spreadsheet. So that's an option as well. You can also, of course, integrate with an automation tool. So if you wanted to send this data to a newsletter or uh, social media or something like that, you could easily do that with Zapier, Make, or Webhooks, or some of these other options that they have integrately. Finally here, just the settings. This is just where you can customize the default input parameters for your robot. You can change the max numbers of posts, where the robot sh uh, location should run from, and notify me on failure, that sort of thing. So some just basic settings here. So really quickly here, we were able to run a search across all of Reddit and extract for our specific ter search term and extract that data automatically into a Google Sheet. And then if we set up the monitor, it will continue to add data as it finds new posts to our Google Sheet. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about how to set this up, please drop them in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this. Thanks so much.